Hello and welcome back to another day of the chess grind. Let's start a game and see what we can do. First thing I'd like to do is give a shout out to everyone who's left a comment in the past couple of days with tips and advice. Really appreciate it. I do read everything, but I might not be able to apply everything right away. But I do try my best to take, to push, or defend. How about this? Don't want to block in the bishop so early. He did open up a line to his king. This would be pretty funny, huh? Um, how about we just try defending this? So I try to talk as much as I can through my thought process. So I can basically give you guys an insight kind of as to what I'm thinking about as I'm making these moves. But I do know that that slows me down a little bit sometimes. So I might start trying to think and heal a little bit more and maybe talk out loud a little bit less just so I can maybe make some better moves. We'll see. Um, okay. So he'll be forced to take with the g3 pawn here, I believe, because I do have um, check. And if he takes with g3, I can move the queen over here. Doesn't really accomplish a whole lot, but, you know, maybe I just develop. I don't really want to block the queen in this way. I'd like to keep this diagonal open. I think I'm just going to go this way to open up his king side of the board. Maybe that's too early, but... What can he really block with? I don't think he can block with anything here. Okay, I think I think that was really good. Checks, captures, attacks. Okay, I think now is the time for us to develop. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to block my queen in with the knight. I do have check, or uh, f6, e4 check. He has an attack on my queen, and then I kind of need to run away after that. So I kind of don't want to do this. How about this? How about we don't get too excited here? We prevented him from castling, so I think that's a pretty good move to begin with. I'll go h6 just so he doesn't go g5 with his knight. Okay. I'll protect the knight. Okay. I'll attack his bishop. Okay. He's defending my queen from moving to h4, which is good. I do have a knight here, but I think it's a little too aggressive. Maybe I just offer the knight trade on e4 there. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. Could always castle alongside. My bishop is in a really bad spot here. I need to let him breathe a little bit. Maybe castling's not the play, since he can't castle. Mm, no. No. Okay, what's he attacking? That's defended. Okay. Is B pawns weak? Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't castle. If he trades, I recapture with the bishop, and then I can target one of his weak pawns. The Sicilian Swindler from Portugal. I need to play faster. Hmm. Well, obviously I have to do this, right? I'm basically forced to do this, right? Unless there's another punishing move, which I don't think there is. Yeah, I think this just forces the trade. Okay. Hmm. I do have check. So I'll be safe for a move. And I think I'll be forced to go back to d7. Okay. There is check. He does retake with the pawn. And then my bishop's undefended, but I have to move the queen. see. Oh, no, I do have check here. Hmm. Maybe this is risky. This might be kind of risky, but he's cut off here. See, I'm pretty close. Could just trade knights here. Can't quite go here. Mm, I could go there. This would force him to take with the queen, I believe. F2 is defended with the knight.
think he's forced to do this, right? So we basically kind of have to take that. Then we have this move. Do I take his rook or do I give him check? He does have one escape square and then I don't really have a great move after that. I think I'll just go for the rook here. Yeah, I'm actually okay with that. I mean, I want a lot of material there, so. Okay, now all I really need to do is just play fast and I think I'll be okay. So this knight's basically pinned. I need to be really careful here. I have check here. Maybe I just launch all the pawns up the board. I lose on time. Feels bad. Yeah, GG. I just played that too slow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as I started the video out by talking about how I was going to play faster. Well, I'm okay with that outcome, honestly. Um, I came back from a bad position 
And I think I found the best moves that I could. Let's see. So let's just go through the review really fast. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure if this was some trick, trap, gambit opening here um, that I see frequently in these games. So I wasn't quite sure if I should recapture his pawn on f4 there. Looks like the engine wanted it, but I thought it was okay. I was just going to defend this pawn. That was kind of the thought process there. Yeah, I captured on f4 with the pawn here because I didn't want his queen to come into play. Um, I wanted him to capture with his uh, g3 pawn there to open up this line. And I wanted access to his king. That was the thought process, which is what the engine wanted to. Let's see what would have been the better move. I said, yeah, I think the better move was pushing the pawn, like the engine says, just so we could get uh, the bishop out to b4. Since it was protected by the knight as well. Hmm. Getting the knight out. It's important to get your pieces off their starting squares. Sure. Knight e1, that's fine. Kicked the piece. I'm surprised he didn't retreat. I'm surprised he traded his bishop for the knight there. You activate your bishop. Good, good. So he made a blunder here. Why? I, so let's see. I think this is a blunder because it allowed. Uh, what was it? Or no, it didn't even allow that. Oh, because it allowed bishop h4. Yeah, which is what the engine thought too. I wonder if there was a mate situation here. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Isn't this just checkmate? Interesting, yeah. So it looks like I did have checkmate in this position. Um, I just wasn't able to find it. So yeah, his <clears throat> his knight d4 move definitely let me get the advantage there. I know he won ultimately on time, and that's fine. But um, I'm at least happy that I was that I was finding the good moves here. Um, Moving the knight to g3 didn't seem very natural since he had an attacker or a defender, rather his pawn was defending it. And then even if I did move it, then he did this. Now his um, now his rook has eyes on me, but I suppose I could have done this, right? And then I would have had a pretty big advantage here. Or is that not even the right play? Hmm. So he would basically be forced to go to here. And then, yeah, I guess I wouldn't have a great wall. Oh, no, sure. Then I would have been able to take this rook. And then what does he do from here? Oh, sure. He's not in check, so he could have kept on going. OK. Yeah, I was debating between taking the rook and giving check. So maybe the check was just a better idea here. It looks like the engine thought so too. Um, let me go back. Oopsies. To this position. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see this again. So here he's forced. 
Oh, I see. So he would have been forced to go back to e1, and then I could have taken his rook with the queen. That makes sense. And then he probably would have went here, I'm guessing. Um, but then I didn't have a great move after that. Oh, then I could have checked him from behind this way. And then he really only had one good move. Then what do I do from here? Oh, right. Check. Then he's forced to run again. And then another check. Hmm. So it really looks like I just had a really big advantage in this position, but I just wasn't able to find the right combination of moves. But um, yeah, that was a pretty fun game. Um, I know I lost some time, but um, I'm pretty satisfied with the result. I felt like I played well. I just need to play faster. But um, yeah, thanks for the game. Sicilian Swindler 0909. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next game.